Hey guys, Don Brown here, Mr. Too Easy. So I'm back at it again, you know. So, <laughs> man, oh man, this this is hilarious, you know. So, this, this is what I don't understand, okay? How smart and how dumb are people? Common sense is not so common. So, I'm going to talk about more of the corruption in C+, okay? If it goes viral, it goes viral. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But at the end of the day, I'm just putting it out there. Because this is what I experienced by working there. So, I have the facts. And it's sad that, you know, people are following this person because they think he's for the people. He's for himself. Okay? So, let, let's go down the facts. Let's see. Fact one. You never really owned anything of your own. It's always through something else. Okay, so you never really paid taxes to a municipality. You know, you paid your income taxes, that's it. So since you're renting, you don't pay the school tax, you know. So, okay, no harm, no foul, you know. I believe in, you know, if that's what you want to believe in, that's fine. So you really don't know the struggle of really paying taxes when you're not a homeowner. When you have to pay an additional $5,000 in taxes, you know, when you have to have a real nine to five, you know, making it, paying bills, stuff like that, instead of under the blanket of someone else. So then you use your your so-called power to manipulate, to try to emulate, and, you know, you want to be Mr. Greatness, you know, but to me, and I know from the 80s, and I look back now on what you know, my grandmother told me, what my uncle told me, my godfather, you know, people that, you know, that I look up to that give me true guidance. Other than someone that has a little youth group and you, you pray on the weak children. So, you know, like my grandmother said, you know, there's people that's gonna be wolves in sheep clothing, you know, but you just have to be aware. You know, and um, I had to learn, you know, but hey, it is what it is. You know, you got some people that uh, that follow him that, you know, was weak. And, you know, if you look at them now, they're even weaker than they was when they first was in the organization as an adult. So it's sad. Then you have some people that was in the organization and they had a strong mind and this person got a degree very intelligent guy, you know, and he saw the writing on the wall, but then, you know, the mayor going to say, you know, let me blackball him to everybody part of the organization, but then you're going to bring him back because you want him to hide money in his budget. You can get him hired, hide money in the budget to, for you to use, and then you're going to ask me to do the same thing. You're going to say, oh, well, you know, I wish what's the name was here because he know how to hide money real good in his budget. I looked at him like it was a damn fool. I just looked, I said, okay, all right, yeah. And I walked away. But there was another director there too. And this is how, well, this is when common sense is so common. So you have this director that has no idea what they're supposed to do. And they're just going by everything that the mayor tells them to do. So when they're in a meeting, they have no idea what to do. I'll give you a prime example of a meeting, okay? So we're in a meeting with um, these ladies that um, that's from the water company. What, what is the water? WSSC? Okay. So it's the director of public works, which was me, and there's other directors. Now, I'm smart enough to know if I'm in a meeting and it's with a water company to talk about water, these other directors talk about everything but fucking water. But these are the people you put in place. Okay. So I talked about the frozen pipes, the fire hydrants, you know, things that pertain to water when it comes to public works. And I talked about how the relationship I built with the workers of WSSC, and they assisted during the, that winter time that we had all that ice in the road. The whole street was full of ice. You know, they brought salt down every day. While my guys were, you know, we were hammerjacking, picking, chopping up the ice in the road. And they didn't have to do that. They didn't charge us anything. You know, so I was giving gratitude, giving thanks, you know, because I know her workers didn't have to do it, but they did. 
okay? But you think you say anything to the other people? No, not really. But this is what happens when you put someone in place that don't even know what their job description is. Don't even know what to do. They come and ask me. So then when I do help them out to make them look good, the comment I get back to me or Director Brown, they think you're trying to take their job. I'm already a director of public works. I don't be a director of nothing else. You know, like we had C Pleasant Day. Was it C Pleasant Day? No, it was um, State of the City. We had all these damn meetings. Meeting after meeting after meeting after meeting. So, the daggone, somehow, people forget to pay, I mean, to feed the daggone high school students that's an ROTC that have been standing for hours. That have been escorting people to their seats for hours. So, my assistant's going to be directed. We have an issue. Uh, no one uh, ordered the pizza for the children so they can eat. What? I said, okay. You know what? Order the pizza. Put it on Put it on the city credit card on the public works. I'll take care of it. Boom. That's what you're supposed to do as a director. You fill in the gaps. Okay? So, I, I didn't boast and be like, oh, I helped out this person. No. First of all, I believe in feeding children. Okay? They shouldn't be starving. But if you have them standing, I was in ROTC and I was in the Army. I know what it is to stand for hours at a time, at parade rest, at attention. I know what it is to walk people to and from a seat like an usher. So if I had school for a whole half day, most half days, not every period, you know, everybody get a lunch period. So let's just imagine that some of these students didn't get a lunch. But guess what? We're in there setting up at the school right at 2 o'clock. So we can be ready at 7 p.m. And some of those ROTC students are there helping us out too. So that means they really didn't eat. They probably nibbled on something here or there. I don't know. So I go in and help out. No problem. You know, fill in the gap. I go in and fill out the requisition, put in an emergency requisition. Hey, this is the justification of why we spent 100 bucks on pizza at the last minute. Boom, no problem, no harm, no foul. But don't penalize me because I see the bigger picture. Don't spread a rumor about me because I, I, I want to be this. No. Let me tell you something. I did 16 years in the Army. I served this country proudly. You know, I fought for you to be an idiot. For you to misuse taxpayers' dollars. But it's just going to stop now. Okay? So hopefully, people take win and take heed and vote the right way. No matter who's running for mayor or who's running for a city council. And city council, you guys need to wake up. I understand you guys got full-time jobs, but guess what? Something got to give. Because at the end of the day, you guys are letting him do this. You know, he, he bad mouth you guys, shut your stuff down. You guys just say, okay, no problem. Ah, da, 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 da. The American campaign at every event, but you have a city council member that can't even put up one little sign or pass out a piece of literature. I don't understand. It's not right. But hey, I'm not the city council member in C. Pleasant that's run, rerunning for an office. You know? You got a lot of city council members that's that's very intelligent, that are for the people. But you know what? It don't seem like that because the mayor shuts all their stuff down. The mayor put pressure on their assistant. And then their assistant is, is stuck in limbo. And that's the sad thing. That's sad. But you know what? You guys don't see that because the reason you don't see it is because you're working every day. You're regular nine to five. So you don't see what that person goes through. The manipulation, the hatred that person has to go through because she works for you guys. You daggone right she need to get paid more because she's dealing with this five days a week. You know, the mayor has a last minute event but the city council members got to give a whole 90-day notice. But, that, but I'll, I'll go in depth more on that. That's no problem. But let's talk about how you have a city administrator don't fight for the employees. I first got there. There was, a, there was a, my first assistant. Now, keep in mind, every time the current city administrator is out of town or out of the office, the mayor gets his lap dog to fire somebody under the city administrator's um, authority. 
So in my mind, this is common sense, okay? So I haven't done the research, but common sense tells me if the mayor is in charge of the police department, so that means he's in charge of the chief of police. Why is the chief of police, every time the city administrator is out of town, he is now the city administrator and the chief of police? So that means everything the mayor tells him to do, he's going to do as a city administrator, whether it's approved requisitions or whether it's the fire people. That's a conflict of interest, but no one sees that. Because guess what? If he if he doesn't do it, guess what? He's still the chief of police, so he can't be terminated. He can't be replaced. No one sees that shit. But you don't think about that, do you? That's his little lap dog. You know, oh, let me pat. Oh, good job. Pat you on the head. There you go. Okay. All right, go do what I tell you to do. Go attack. But then he's the first to, to, to quote some Bible verse. You think you're special because you quoted a Bible verse? Really? You think you're special? You know, oh, well, you know, see what it is, is, yeah, we got more calls of 911, but the crime has went down. Liars use numbers and numbers don't lie. I've done logistics for 25 years. I've done audits. Liars use numbers and numbers don't lie. But guess what? Let's lie about what you spent that, that red, light, red light camera money on, that speed camera money on. How about that? Think about that. So, you spend all this money, but a state of the city, like you, the president of the United States, you have to address the nation, okay? <laughs> and people are actually coming to this thinking that it wasn't spent by tax dollars. Then you create you know, a, a for-profit and you funnel money through and as soon as someone says something you badmouth them because he sees what you're doing. You know, you, you put a bad face on this guy. Hey, at the end of the day he did nothing wrong. He tried to put light to it. You're going to tell people, oh, don't talk to this person because he's not part of the group anymore because of this, this, and this. Man, please. You're the main culprit. You're the cancer in all of this. You're the disease. You're the disease. You need to be removed. But this latest thing, you didn't close down all these stores in Seek Plus because they haven't changed their gates. Newsflash, all of them don't own that property. So if the nail salon people don't own the nail salon, they're leasing, how are they responsible for changing the gates? Hmm. If Keith and Sons are leasing, how are they in charge of changing the gates? And then think about this, because I've done the, I've done the cost research. And this was way when I first got there, when I first heard about this dumb crap, okay? I told the economic development directors when, when, the, when I first heard about it, I said, look, I said, it's not gonna turn out great. First of all, they're gonna lose storefront, store property in the inside because all these gates are going in the inside. They're not going in the outside like they currently are. You have to pay to get them removed, Pay the insulation. If they're already paying high taxes, how can they afford to change the gates? Think about that. That's like telling me I own a house in Seat Pleasant. You're going to force me. And No, here's, here's one better. That's like telling me I rent a house in Seat Pleasant. You're going to tell me I need to change my windows to quadruple pane windows. Or you're going to give me a fine. I can't go in my house. I'm renting. I don't control nothing to come to buy their house because I pay my rent to my landlord. But no one thinks about that. But you will, you guys will. City took out a loan for $500,000 because they had no money. Huh, I wonder why they didn't have any money. You think the city administrator really checks her checks and balances? No, she's being manipulated too. Or maybe she's just drinking wine that's in the refrigerator she got. I don't know. But you be the judge of that. You get all this stuff approved by the city administrator, but then when it doesn't go right, you want to blame the person that put the wreck in. But yet you're one of the final approvals. So you got the CFO that's the final approver and the C and the, and the city administrator the final approver. So let me give you let me paint you a picture. If I'm a director and I say, you know what, I want to buy a bridge. Okay, I want to buy a bridge and seat pleasant. And I put the wreck in. 
the money just don't go to the person I want to buy the bridge to. There's checks and balances. There's justifications. So at the end of the day, if the two higher ups approve it, it's not on the person that put the wreck in. It really isn't. But no one sees it that way. But you know what? But I'm the mayor. You're going to listen to me. Okay. All right. Right. You know, you use you use the, the city cars to drive all over the country, all over the all through these states. But yet, you don't let the code enforcement that live in the city take them home. But you use the gas up, no problem. Then, you know, you're gonna say, oh, well, public works. You're, you're not in charge of the fleet, but yet, public works pay for a mechanic, does the maintenance on the vehicles. That makes no sense. So if that's the case, and have the fleet manager pay for the mechanic, do the maintenance stuff. See, it's all butt, but as my grandma would say, it's ass backwards and butt forwards. Think about that. Just put that in your pipe and smoke it. But you know what? It is what it is. Let me Greg go to my appointment. And as I always say, you know, comments. Common sense isn't so common, but at the end of the day, you need to be mentally strong, physically strong, socially strong, and spiritually strong. Without those things, I don't know if you're going to make it or not. Anybody will make it. You know, those are some key value things that people need to have, you know, because information is free. You know, regardless of what race, color, creed you are, information is free. In this day and age, technology is at your fingertips. You can Google. You don't have to go through Encyclopedia Britannica to dag on find out information. You can Google it. Libraries are free. Library cards are free. Finding out information on people are free. Use your brain. Just don't go by because they, they're preaching a sermon to you. Oh, let me tell you, how, you know, what, what I'm going to do to the city. How. Man, please. You know, it's, it's stupid. You know, but hey. If that's what you like, it is what it is. But, you know, as I always say, you know, it's my job to protect foreign and domestic. And it seems like each time someone comes out and call out what the mayor's doing wrong, he try to terminate or bad mouth them, blackball them. Something you need to think about, people. So until next time, peace. I'm out.